Hello, welcome to this tutorial of Marianne. We're going to learn the chords that go to the song in the key of C. It just uses the C and G7 chords. We're also going to learn two different strumming patterns that go with the song. I always put timestamps in the description of this video and at the beginning of this video, so if you know something of this video or you want to skip ahead to a certain part or look at one part again, please utilize those timestamps. With that said, let's get started. The two chords in this song are pretty much the two chords you gotta learn if you're gonna learn ukulele. So we're gonna start with the C chord. The C chord is just played with your third finger. You're gonna use that third finger to count one, two, three spaces from the bottom string, the A string. And that's gonna turn the A into a C. Press down, straight down, as well as, well as you can. And that's the C chord. Going to a G7, we're gonna keep this third finger on the string, just slide it down to the second fret, add second finger to the C string. So you're gonna skip one string, add second finger to the C string, second fret. First finger is going to go on E string first fret. You have a little triangle. You wanna make sure that your fingers are not touching any other string except for the string that they're supposed to be touching. Press down firmly, and you should have a G7. So because this is a two chord song, let's really focus on getting the smooth transitions between those two chords. So we're gonna go back to C, and we're gonna play C together. One, two, ready, here, C. Sliding third finger, add second finger, second fret, add first finger, first fret. Check the triangle, and one, Two, here's G7. Sliding back to third fret and making sure everything else is off. Back to C, ready, go. And back to G7. One, two, ready, go. And back to C, one, two, ready, go. Back to G7, ready, go. And back to C, Ready, go. And back to G7, ready, go. And back to C, ready, go. So the song starts on a C chord and we're gonna play it four times. Just soft strum using the squishy part of your thumb to just drag it down. And one, two, ready, here's the C chord. One, two, three, Four. Now we change to G7, ready, go, one, two, three, four, four more, one, two, three, four, back to C, one, two, three, four, and again, one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, three, four, stay on G7, two, three, So when your C and G7 transition starts to feel really good, we're going to start to sing the song as we play, and let's practice that. One, two, ready, go. All day, all night, switch, Mary Ann. So once that is starting to feel good, we're going to look at two different strumming patterns. The first pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up. I usually make this shape. I pretend that I'm sipping a fancy cup of tea, but the tea is not very good, so I'm just going to pour it out. But I have to keep holding onto the cup because it's expensive. I don't want to break it, right? So we think down like that. We don't need to make the motion very, very big. We can, we can have the motion move from your elbow and kind of just let your hand follow along. So to start, we're just gonna go down strum. 
and every beat is going to be down. We're going to be adding in some eighth notes. So what I want you to think about is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And three. Every number is a down strum. Every and is an up strum or an upbeat. So we're going to try one and two. to make the sound. That's uncomfortable for some people, I understand. You do what works for you, really. Our pattern is one, two, and three, four, and. Our motion is going to stay the same. We're just selecting when we hit the strings, okay? We're going to break it down first. We're going to go one, two, and. Try that. Ready, go. One, two, and. Ready, go. We're gonna break it down the other way. We're gonna go down, up, down. Ready, go. Ready, go. Down, up, down. Ready, go. Down, up, down. Ready, go. Down, up, down. Excellent. Now we're gonna put those two together. I'm gonna to go kind of slow. And I'm gonna put my left hand in the C chord. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three, four, and one. Pretty awesome, right? Um, this song is a folk song from the Caribbean, so I think it's appropriate that we use an island strum. The island strum counts like this. We go one, two, and, and four, and. Three, I don't say the three because um, we're not playing there, but we are playing on the and of three, so that's why there's and, four, and, right? So it's gonna go one, two, and. We've done that already. So let's try that on C. Ready, go. One, two, and. Yeah. One, two, again, and go. One, two, and. Now we're gonna add the other part, and because it's a repeating pattern, it's gonna go and four and one. Up, down, up, down. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, up, down, up, down. Two, three, up, down, up, down. Two, three, up, down, up, down. Our motion is always just going up and down. We're just selecting when we play. We're just being selective about which beats we play on. So we're gonna go down, down, up. be doing like a ghost motion for beat three. You're still gonna go down, up, down, up, down. Let's go super slow. I'll have the pattern written out for you so you can see when you strum. I'll have it written a bunch of ways. We're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and down, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and Faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and here's the song. One, two, ready, go. All day, all night, very
if you are seeking to learn a new song with only two chords or if you are seeking to learn two new strumming patterns. Um, please let me know in the comments what other kinds of skills you would like to learn and what kinds of songs you would like to learn too because I'm always looking for suggestions of that kind of thing. Thank you to my patrons who help make these videos possible. I really, really appreciate your contributions to this channel. If you're interested in supporting this channel monetarily, you can look into becoming a patron of this channel or you can just subscribe and um, turn on notifications so you know when I post. I post ukulele stuff and trumpet stuff and uh, a lot of collaborations with my friends. Until next time, stay mindful, stay musical, and stay out of trouble.